What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Shannon here. For today's episode, we are gonna go over how to get your drywall flush with the walls inside your shower. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I do videos on bathroom remodels, education, and some business tips as well. So welcome. Anyway, so getting right into it, let me just give you a little bit of background on this bathroom. Now, this tub area used to be a shower. We kind of flip-flopped it and we wanted to make the shower a tub because we have a stand-up shower in the master bath. So for this, we couldn't really find a bathtub to fit the exact space, so we had to go a couple inches smaller, which resulted in us having to bring the walls in to fit the tub. Now we have the problem that these walls don't match up to this wall. It's a half inch off. And this is a situation that a lot of people run into when they're remodeling their bathroom. Plumbing up the walls usually can sometimes result in you not being able to come flush to the drywall on the outside. So for this situation, we are going to show you how to get them to be flush. We're gonna start by fixing this drywall. And in this situation, we are actually a half inch exactly off from the existing drywall. So you'll see what we do here. Let's get right into it. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is double up the drywall. I'm just cutting this piece in as a filler from stud to stud. It's not exact because there's so many variations in the way this drywall was cut that it would be ridiculous to try to fit it perfect. So we're going to screw this in and then we could go on top with another layer of drywall and that will hit flush with our half inch foam board that we brought out here. So this stud that's behind this, the foam board is what we brought in to fit this tub. So you'll see what I'm saying in a minute when we cut our next pieces. So we're gonna get this hung and move on to the next step. All right, so on this side, which is the left side, if you're, I don't know. If you're in the tub, this is the left side. I don't know. This back wall here. Right side. Whatever. This back wall here, opposite the shower head, was a bigger difference. So we added the extra layer of half inch drywall and we still have almost half inch reveal over here for the foam board. So on this wall, and it's not the same all the way, it's worse in the middle and it gets better down here, but for something like this, we're gonna have to float it out gradually. This side, which you'll see once we put the drywall on, the drywall will actually be maybe a little bit higher than the foam board, probably very slightly because this is just about half inch. And that's actually perfect because then we have the profile and you have the buildup from the thin set behind the tile. So this side will actually work out to probably be absolutely perfect. This one, we're still going to have to go on and layer the drywall to float it out. So we're gonna get to drywalling this side now. All right, so as you can see, we the method we use to get our drywall flush with our wallboard inside our shower was adding another layer of drywall. We were able to do that because of the difference in the height. Um, sometimes you might end up with a difference like this where it's not quite half an inch. I know they do make drywall that's smaller thicknesses, but for this side, we're going to float it out with drywall mud. And then this side came out perfect. The, um, the drywall and the wallboard is 
pretty much flush with one another and it's going to come out seamless on this side. This side's going to need a little bit of work. So this is one of the ways you can do it. Um, the other way obviously would be to float. You can add drywall, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but the biggest thing is that you wanna get your walls inside your shower flat and plumb. So that's what causes this to happen in a lot of cases. All right guys, so excuse my clothes. We just went for a run and I wanted to come in here and show you the beautiful drywall work. We had our friend come in who does all of our drywall for us. Just because we're on a tight deadline with this bathroom and if it was up to me and Chris, it would take us an entire week to do this drywall. So we leave the drywall to the drywall professionals. So as before you saw that the left side or your right side was much taller for the shower versus the drywall. So this is what I mean when I say that we would have to float it out. So you see how big of a span he had to go to float that out to make it nice and flat. And then over here, it's much smaller because obviously it was already flat and he was able to tape it and get it nice and flush. Um, but this is the way that we do 99% of our stuff, our showers to get the walls to match up to the shower walls inside. Um, so I hope this helped you. If you guys do it a different way, let me know in the comments. I'm always interested to hear. This was one of the biggest pain in the butts when I started doing showers is figuring out how to get these walls to match up in a remodel. So let me know how you do it. As always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.